Today's review is of a Sony Handycam HDR PJ380, which has 16 gigs of memory built in and takes 8.9 megapixel still images. Okay, so this is my old camera, a Canon PowerShot SX20 IS that I have dearly loved, but uh, when I started doing serious video, this one was just not quite enough for video. It's an awesome camera, especially if you need a PhD camera, which is what I need because it means press here, dummy, and then it takes perfect pictures every time. But when you need to actually zoom in, do some special stuff, and you need an external microphone, then the new Sony Handycam is much better. It's got two super cool features, and I'm going to show you about those right now. The first super cool feature is simply that this camera takes a microphone. With the new camera, I can get a nice microphone. I've got a lapel a microphone that didn't cost a lot of money, but it's got a pretty good sound. And I've got a 20-foot cord, so in all, I can be about 25 feet away from the camera and have very good sound that's not echoey. A lot of times when I'm recording, I'm either far away from the camera or I'm in a room that's very echoey, so this handles both of those problems. The next super cool feature is that this little bitty camera has an awesome LED projector. I put it up against the wall so that you could see even with a textured wall that it's got a really nice projection and is very clear. It's a little bit hard to focus, but that's uh, something you just need to get used to. So this is the area that I was just projecting on, and you can see it's reasonably wide, uh, you know, for a small audience. And the camera is about four feet from the wall in order to get that perhaps three foot uh, wide projection area. Overall, I am very, very pleased with my Sony Handycam camera. It has lots of other little cool features I didn't talk about. The HDMI input from a cell phone or a laptop or a DVD player, HDMI output so that you can go straight to some other recording device. So you can actually project something from another device using this camera. The power lasts about, as far as I can tell, two and a half hours. It's got a little tool built in so that you can hook it right up to your computer and you don't have to have worry about losing the USB key. I'm very pleased with the Sony Handycam HDR PJ380. Please subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any comments.